everybody welcome to the impressive channel there are a few things i want to get into in this video first starting with the singer and the billion dollar mogul rihanna now this past monday rihanna was honored with a very important title in her home country barbados she was given a medal for being a national hero in the country and this is actually a very historic time for barbados because they finally cut ties with the british rule so they are officially a republic and now they have a president named sandra mason so not only did they have their first president ever but rihanna was also honored in that ceremony and she's now a national hero so Rihanna is out here doing big things right now, big things. And not only that, there have been some rumors circulating that Rihanna might be with child. Now this rumor came from this Brazilian article claiming that Rihanna is pregnant with ASAP Rocky's baby. And the Neighborhood Talk actually posted this story on their page. Shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. And Rihanna's best friend, Melissa, was snooping around and she actually liked this post. Now, when the Neighborhood Talk showed that she liked the post, she responded in the comments and said, guys, this is a high moment. What the F? How y'all gonna set me up like that? You know I'm not with the messy stuff. Carry on, guys. Nothing to see here. So Melissa was trying not to get caught up in this whole pregnancy rumor mess, but she wasn't confirming or denying anything. Now, honestly, I don't think Rihanna is pregnant. There have been so many different rumors about her being pregnant over the last few years, and it's just a tired rumor at this point. Anytime I see that headline, I just roll my eyes because I know more than likely she's not pregnant. And I saw her at the ceremony and she didn't seem pregnant to me. She looked her regular size. Sometimes Rihanna Rihanna fluctuates in size, so it's normal for her to be a little fluffy sometimes, but she's not pregnant, at least from what I know. Now, if she comes out and confirms it, then I'll talk about it, but I don't think she's pregnant. Now, moving on, I wanna talk briefly about Megan Thee Stallion. Now, Megan Thee Stallion was scheduled to do a concert in her hometown, Houston, Texas, but she ended up canceling the concert and it had some people talking. Now, Megan and her team reported that she canceled the concert because of the Astro World tragedy. Now, last month, I'm sure you all have heard that the rapper Travis Scott put together a very chaotic concert that led to 10 people losing their lives and hundreds of people being injured. Ever since that whole tragedy, things have been very quiet in Houston when it comes to concerts and festivals. Now, Megan was supposed to do a concert at the 713 Music Hall, and it was supposed to be a graduation celebration because she is graduating this winter but she ended up canceling the concert because of the Astro World tragedy. She said in her statement, out of respect for the lives lost in Houston earlier this month, I have decided to cancel my show at the 713 Music Hall on December 3rd. Houston is still healing and it's important that our community be given the appropriate time to grieve. My heart goes out to all of the families that are suffering during this difficult time. Now, when Megan made this statement, a lot of people were questioning whether or not she actually canceled because of the tragedy or she canceled because her concert wasn't selling. Now, Media Takeout reported that Megan allegedly only sold half of the tickets from her concert. So she didn't have a good turnout according to Media Takeout. And I could say take that with a grain of salt. We don't know exactly how much she sold, but there are some people speculating that she may have canceled her concert because her tickets weren't selling. I think Megan probably did cancel for that reason because let's be honest, people in Houston are skeptical to go to concerts now and I can't blame them. They're not enthusiastic about concerts because of that horrific, tragic concert that Travis Scott threw. So I think that plays a major reason why Megan's turnout wasn't that great. Now, it doesn't necessarily reflect good on Megan because this is her hometown, Houston. So she should be able to sell out a concert regardless. She's not the type of artist that Travis is. She's not causing her fans to go into a rage and her concerts aren't dangerous. She's performed at many different festivals and from our knowledge, no one has been hurt at her show. So there shouldn't be any reason for anybody to be hesitant to go see her in concert unless people just don't want to see her like that. 
Now, I think it was a little bit optimistic of her team to think that she could sell out an arena like the 713 Music Hall. I believe the arena holds up to 5,000 people and that's the maximum it could hold. I think it holds less if there's actual seating in place, but it does hold a lot of people. So that would be a lot of tickets for Megan to sell. And according to the rumors, she wasn't able to sell out the venue. And honestly, I don't think Megan is at the point where she can sell out a venue like this just yet. Now, even though Megan is popular and she's gotten a lot of accolades, she still has yet to prove that she is a touring act. It's one thing to perform at different festivals, but can she put together a solo tour? That's the question. And I think she can do a solo tour, but she has to start smaller. There's nothing wrong with starting small and building up from there. Now, moving on to the last topic, I am a little late with this one, but this past weekend, the rapper Saweetie got publicly rejected by Lil Baby after she tried to expose their little sneaky link situation. Now, a few days ago, Hollywood Unlock reported that Lil Baby and Saweetie were messing around with each other on the low. In fact, Lil Baby was caught spending close to $100,000 on Saweetie in the Chanel store. Now, when these reports came out, Baby did try to deny that he was linked to Saweetie. He actually tweeted this, Baby not dating no one, I'm single. Now, he did end up deleting this tweet and after he deleted it, he sent flowers to Saweetie. Saweetie posted it on her IG story and she also went a step further and posted several pictures of her wearing different Chanel bags. And I think this was her way of fueling the rumors that Lil Baby dropped 100 stacks on her at the Chanel store. Not only that, she posted this picture of her sitting in Lil Baby's lap. Now at first people didn't know who this man was, but some detectives on the internet found out that this man was actually Lil Baby and this was his outfit. In fact, he was wearing the same jeans and the same shoes and everything. Now, when Saweetie posted this picture, it triggered a lot of different responses on the blogs and I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that some drama was going to happen because Lil Baby still has an on and off situation with his child's mother, Jada. Not only that, him messing around with Saweetie is a little messy considering that Saweetie is the ex-girlfriend of one of his ops, Quavo. Lil Baby is actually beefing with Quavo and the Migos. Even though they're on the same label, there is tension between them. So him messing around with Saweetie makes things even messier. And Quavo definitely didn't like hearing that his ex-girlfriend was now with his enemy. Now he posted this on his IG story, ain't tripping, we can swap it out, hashtag QC the label. So basically he's hinting at taking Jada from Lil Baby in exchange for Saweetie. And when the Shade Room posted this, Jada actually liked the post. And I think Jada liked this post to be petty. She doesn't want to get with Quavo. She just wanted to get under baby's skin. And it actually worked. The last thing Lil Baby would want is for his baby mama to mess around with his enemy. So he tried to distance himself from the Saweetie rumors. And at first he was DMing blogs and trying to deny that he was with Saweetie. In fact, this blog called That So Bold posted a DM that they got from Lil Baby and he laughed and said, Cap, and later on, he publicly came out and threw subs at Saweetie in these tweets. He said, if you want clout, use baby. Bees really be weird. So he basically rejected Saweetie. And when Saweetie saw this, I think she was embarrassed. And she ended up deleting that picture of her and baby together. So this whole thing was a PR stunt gone wrong. I do think Saweetie was hoping that this whole sneaky link situation with baby would turn into a PR relationship for her. But Lil Baby is not having that, clearly. He doesn't wanna claim Saweetie. He has no problem spending money on her and smashing her behind the scenes, but he doesn't want to claim her. So this was kind of an L for Saweetie. I don't think it was ever a good idea for her to get involved with Lil Baby because he has too much baggage and he's in an on and off relationship with Jada. So it was never going to work. And also he's her ex-boyfriend's enemy. So it just seems very messy. 
I don't think Saweetie needs a PR relationship at this point in her career, but if she chooses to be in another PR relationship, she should go for somebody who's not a rapper. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.